as you noted with this with the sims 2 that you were inside a house in the sims 3 you're now in an entire world for us it was the it was the next logical step which was if you think about the way that the the sims 2 uh inside the studio we call the sims um, hamsters with jobs like little pet people in a little cage and you would watch what they did and you would direct their lives and with the with the sims 3 we wanted to take away the edges of the cage and say, well, what? it's interesting to see how people behave within a house, but it's even more interesting to see how their whole life, uh, when they go to work, when they're in the street and they meet somebody. Uh, but we still have to create all of the streets, all of the environments, um, all of the terrain, mm -hmm. uh, and all that stuff. So the, for example, uh, let's let's look at this. So we, we've made this. Sit, this is our city hall. This is our our town center, um, the central park, the commercial activities and buildings. Uh, these are actually this is sort of new for The Sims, where these are actually individual discrete buildings. They're not um, they're not made using the walls and floors that you would have seen in Sims 2. Um, so your sim can go inside of them and and they'll go in there and do a job or do something and then come back out. You don't follow them inside, but they disappear in, in there. But we're able to make the world this outer world feel much richer and much more unique. Um, and each of us see that in our everyday lives. So you, know, you could go down the street tomorrow and meet someone and fall in love and then uh, move uh, into a house together. And then when you have a kid, go to a different house. You couldn't do that in The Sims 2 as smoothly as you can with The Sims 3. In The Sims 3 as well, you get to watch everybody else live their lives. So your neighbors across the street um, they may move to a more expensive house once uh, somebody in that household gets a promotion at their job and they get more money. Um, so it, it really opens up the entire world for a new set of possibilities. And it's, it's that, that, that wonderful ability to... Uh, everyone likes spying on their neighbors, right? We just don't like to admit it. And this is literally, you can spy on an entire town and see how they're living their little lives and uh, who's needing who.